Hello. So today we're here at University of Riverside, California, one of the number one research institutes, to talk to the students and see why did they choose University of Riverside. Yeah. Uh, do I talk to yeah, sorry. Okay, cool. Um, my name is George, and I am currently a first year at UCL. Awesome. Then what's yeah. also your major? I'm a biochemistry major, and I'm also planning to minor in psychology, but that's kind of, that's still in the works. Uh, my name is Adam, and I am a first year. First year, awesome. And what's your major? I'm a psychology major. I'm Natasha. I'm Natara. Hi, and then what year are you guys? First. First, first year. Awesome. Then what's your guys' majors? Undeclared. Yeah. Undeclared? Undeclared. Uh, I'm Kelly. Awesome. What's your year? I'm a first year. First year. What's your major? I'm a neuroscience major. Neuroscience? Awesome. Um, hi, my name is Chloe. I'm a third year here at UCR. Awesome. And what's your major? Uh, my name is Sahid and I am a third year. Third year? What's your major? My major is sustainability studies. Awesome. Uh, my name is Rosemary. I'm a senior here. Awesome. And what is your major? Uh, psychology. Nice, nice. Hi, my name is Caroline, and I am a business graduate student of 2023. My name is Brandon Taylor. Awesome, what year are you? Are you? I am a fourth year right now, undergraduate student here at UCR. Awesome, and what's your major? I'm studying business administration, finance, and concentrating in finance, and uh, I'm minoring in economics. Uh, my name is Taylor Schwarzeit. Awesome, what year are you? I'm a third year neuroscience major student. My name is Michelle Zepeda. I am a fourth year majoring in TFDP, which is theater, film, and digital production. My name is Krista Locke. I'm a third year production and design major for theater and film. Uh, my name is Dave Dufus. I'm a third year film major at UCR, of course. My name is Emma Fisher. I am a third year TFDP major with a concentration in acting. My name is Tania. I am a third year theater major with a focus in directing. Hi, I'm Yoshi Escalantes. My major is theater, film production, specifically directing. Um, yeah. My name is Brian Salazar. Um, my major, I'm in um, film and digital production. So what made you choose UCR? Uh, the main reason why I chose UCR is because it's very strong in the path of medicine, like for their undergraduate opportunities, whether it's like research or clinical experience, yeah. or even just like nearby clinics. And um, yeah, that's what brought me. That's what brought uh, The reason I chose to go to UCR is because I wanted to move out of San Jose, which is where I'm from, and. UCR was basically the only school out here that accepted me, but it wasn't just because of that. I did end up doing my research on just the programs that they offer here, specifically with the theater and filmmaking, and it completely um, captivated me, and I wanted to, you know, explore more of it. So that is the sole reason why I chose to come here. What made me choose you? I'm gonna be honest. At the very like at the start of everything, I chose UCR because it was just. I got accepted. I was choosing between uh, UCR and I was choosing between CSU Long Beach. But in the end, I kind of just chose UCR because uh, my older sister told me it was just like I was going to have more opportunities, especially because I'm currently on the pre track. So nice. Um, the reason I chose UCR was because UCR has one of the most. Um, it's, it's a college that you can take the most advantage of, especially when it comes to resources. I researched before I got into UCR that UCR definitely gives a lot more support for low-income students. And I come from a poor background, so to me, UC Riverside was what they gave me the most opportunity. So that's why I decided to join. Um, that I was in California. Yeah, where are you guys originally from? I'm from Calabasas, the valley. Okay, from the valley. I'm from Northern California, like by Yosemite National Valley. So when I chose UCR, I was like, I'm going to be in Southern California, by LA, by San Diego. It's just kind of like the perfect middle ground. So for UCR, like, I was in a program where you kind of have to send your application to all the UCs. And so UCR was one of those. Uh, colleges that kind of just like got back to me. The more I did research and whatnot, I found a lot of interesting facts about UCR, like how the first like citrus, we have one of the first citrus plants ever in like America. Fun fact. Um, and honestly, like it seemed like such a nice cozy area to just go away from like where I was born and raised and just find a new start in like my heart and my career. 
I like the flexibility of the film program here because it doesn't pull you into only doing directing or only doing writing. It allows you to kind of touch every avenue of filmmaking to kind of get a better scope of what you want to do post graduation. And then I also joined for um, the music production resources here because a lot of the UCs don't actually have technology for music production and equipment for that because it is a relatively long field. Um, so I did come here with as well. I chose UCR mainly because it's the one the one UC I got into. I got into a couple of Cal States, but I really wanted to get into UC. And I, oddly enough, it's actually my mother's alma mater, so, you know, like I said. I chose UCR just because of the reputation of uh, the UC system, and uh, I didn't really know too much about UCR at first, so I was kind of curious to learn more. And so I actually discovered that they actually have the largest business school in the UC system, and I switched from a poli sci major to a business major, and I wanted to take advantage of that opportunity and see what UCR has to offer. I chose UCR also for financial reasons, but also um, location. I was accepted into a lot of out-of-state colleges, but I didn't have like scholarship for like funds to move back to state. And this is like the next best thing. Um, it was close to home, and I liked the like smaller environment, but also like still being at UC. I chose UCR. Being very honest, I chose it for financial reasons. Um, UCR was the only school that offered me uh, a lot of financial aid, and just realistically, I wanted to go here. The reason why I choose UCR is because I love the environment that was going on. The community here is amazing and very friendly. The reason why I chose UCR is because I'm actually a local and mobile and I decided that I wanted to be close to home while still pursuing my education and I really like the greenery that is inside of UCR. So I actually didn't have that many choices because I was a spring transfer student so I had to choose between three UCs because they were the only ones that were accepting uh, spring students. Um, so it was either between UC Riverside or UC Merced. I didn't get into Santa Cruz because of physics classes, uh, so I just chose UCR because it was closer to um, home and because they have amazing study abroad programs. Um, I knew I wanted to get into like research, so I looked at kind of what projects they were doing here and I liked them way better than the other schools, so I was like, gotta go there. <laughs> Um, so I'll be honest, at first I was planning on going uh, up north, but, um, but when my applications were due, that's when the pandemic hit, and I just got super like homesick, and the idea of being away from family, I was like, nah, I think I gotta stay here for now, and also the fin financial aid was pretty good since we lived nearby, so. Awesome, awesome. And so what advice would, what advice do you, what advice do you have for anybody that's like choosing this college or what college advice you can give to anybody? Uh, our TA is, uh, I think like my first quarter I really struggled with like figuring out how to balance like the college experience and like my classes. So definitely don't like overload your units like your first year and get a feel for everything before you like jump head first into everything. Awesome, thank you so much. Uh, make sure to manage your time. It gets difficult because it becomes your own. So make sure you're oh, yeah. being balanced. And no one's going to be there. Like your professor's not going to sit there and say, you need to come to class. Like, you know what I mean? So just go to class and you will pass the class most likely. <laughs> awesome, thank you guys so much. Um, don't let money influence you too much. Like when it comes to choosing a career, like don't think about oh how much I got, am I gonna be making in the future. It is good to think ahead, but at the end of the day, like you should really do what you want to do and what drives you, what you're passionate about. Awesome, thank you so much. Uh, I think the biggest thing is when I was a senior in high school, the only thing that mattered to me was like the acceptance rate of the school. That was the biggest thing for me. I would see an acceptance rate of like 4%. I'm like, yeah, like, like I want to go there. E e even if the school didn't have like resources for what I wanted to become, you see a lower acceptance rate and you're like, I want to do that. But I highly, highly, highly uh, advise against that. I think look at the school, look at what the school offers. If they can offer you the same things that another school can, and it's just because the higher, like has a higher acceptance rate, doesn't mean you're going to end up like in a worse position than if you want to
I think yeah, we're allowed to give it a chance. Nice, thanks. Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, like make relationships with your professors because mm -hmm. when you when you move on, if you want to go to like jobs or even grad school, that's going to be so valuable to be able to have like a professor that knows you. Um, because sometimes they can be like, hey, my friend's got a position open, you should go apply for that, and it's just like easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, thanks so much. Um, don't be afraid to get involved. I know it's like really cheesy. I don't mean like joining principal, yes, that's fun, but like most universities have so many like free resources and free events. Um, but so many students are so shy to take advantage of them that like, you know, you can get a lot of free things. Take those free things. Don't be shy, fast, okay? It's everyone's job to get <laughs> Awesome, thank you. I think the biggest thing in college is making sure that you find your group of people, like people that make you feel comfortable as well as like keep you motivated. And then if you have that like real core group of people, it's obviously you still deal with stress, but it's a lot easier to deal with stress and like the more negative emotions that college can bring. Awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, some advice that I would give to any upcoming grant, uh, any upcoming students will be to just take your time on. Uh, I wish I was told that earlier on, but like honestly, take your time. Everybody works on their own pace. Everybody, and there's also so many resources around you and many peers who are willing to help you, so always seek them out. Awesome, thank you. And the advice I would give you for college is when petitioners approach you on campus, just stare straight ahead, ignore them, don't give them the time of day. Awesome, thank you. Um, advice that I would give to a UCR student or up would be be open to change. You're here for college to evolve, grow as a person. Don't be stuck in your ways because you think to get high school or anything like that. You're gonna meet new people, do new things, change your major, change your major a couple times. Just be open to change. Awesome. Thank you. Advice I would give anybody: get involved in early school because it's very important to get connections in college. That's one of the main reasons why you should go to college is to gain connections for your. Um, your next pathway in life, your career, whatever you want to do. So get involved, whether that's a club, you know, a job here, anything, extracurricular, sports, running for like, you know, um, student government, anything. Just get involved, volunteering, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Awesome, thank you. So I think the most important advice that I have is to just get involved. Like, it doesn't matter where you go to college, it doesn't matter what the rating is or anything like that. Um, you can always, like, college experience is what you make of it. So as long as you get involved, um, I think you're gonna have a, an amazing time, no matter where you go. Um, and I feel like college just offers a lot of opportunities to all the students, and if you're interested in something, there's always ways to pursue that. And it never blocks you from actually chasing your dreams or um, getting involved with your interests or the things that you like. So getting involved and not being shy is the biggest advice that I have for everyone. Awesome, thank you so much. I would give, like, the kind of advice I would give is that you should join clubs and organizations early on. Uh, network as much as possible. I mean, this is probably the biggest environment you're gonna be in with the most people of your age group until you know you head to the workforce this is going to be the last time you're in that kind of environment so definitely take advantage of every opportunity you get and don't be afraid to ask questions and uh, additionally always you know try to meet new people through new avenues and you never know if the right opportunity might be behind a door that you may not expect so always be out Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah. Some kind of advice that I would give to anybody that's looking for a college or maybe even found their dream college is to chase what makes you happy, not what makes you money. Because it doesn't matter whether or not you make money if you're miserable. And that even if everybody tells you that you're not gonna succeed in something, they're only saying that because they did it and that doesn't have jack shit to do with you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Don't go to the college that all your friends are going to because that's not a benefit at all. You'll probably get distracted from classes and be way too dependent on them. Do something that you want to do even though it scares you. Awesome. Thank you so much. And then also, what is your year? Um, I am a junior. Junior? Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. I see the best advice I can give to anyone that's coming into college is to stay disciplined because hard work doesn't come from just going with the flow. 
that's how school is like from elementary to high school. But here in college, it's all about discipline. And if you can, if you have a lot of discipline, and if you get out of your comfort zone a lot more, then you probably um, be a lot more successful, you learn more, and probably connect with a lot of people. Awesome. Thank you so much. To future students of UCR is definitely take advantage of all the resources offered here. I feel like there is so much help that is offered to students that a lot of students don't know about. So I think it's very important to do your research in what is exactly offered here and how you can be a part of it. Awesome, thank you. Well, today I visited UCR. Well, visit, more like I go to UCR. I'm also a TFTP major in acting and directing with the emphasis in acting. And throughout my time, and I realized after talking to everybody here, why I chose UCR was because it wasn't just a safe school for me. I, yeah, I had my sister that also attended UCR, but for me, I chose to go to this school because I love the environment. I love how the school is something new on the rise and starting these new programs and becoming something bigger than what it could be you know ucr is a school on the rise and the grow with all the, the programs and like especially when going like acting and directing you know we have teachers that are in the field you know that are still acting still directing to this day you know acting teachers like kimberly guerrero luis carrazzo and just many more people i mean we even have a directing teacher that was an ad for spike lee which is crazy to think about and hearing everyone's reasons of why they chose the school made me just appreciate UCR more as a whole and made me appreciate the school more as a whole, you know? And advice I could give to any student right now that's trying to make a decision in college or just any college advice is a lot what everyone said. Do what makes you happy. Don't follow a trend. Don't follow your friends. Because at the end of the day, this is your life that you're going to live. And nobody can live with regret other than you if you choose not to do something. If you choose not to go to a certain place or all that. You know? No one else can live with that regret but you. So why would you want to live with regret when you can live how you want to and do what you want to and just try to succeed? That's I learned a lot today by interviewing and... I can't wait to interview more people and to talk to hopefully professors next time to get the real insight more about what it means to be a part of UCR.